I voice acted in the amazing world of Gumball on over 50 episodes, and in this video I'm going to show you some of those characters that I voiced, but also give you some little secret insider information on how we came up with their sounds when we were in the booth. And stick around to the end to find out how you can get your line read by the hot dog guy. Ha! <laughs> you look like the reason top hats were invented. Yeah, I know. Not my best look. No need to rub it in. Speaking of the hot dog guy, I think this guy might be my favorite character that I voiced in the whole show. His awkward episodes were so much fun to film, but also seeing the way the community enjoyed this character as much as I did was honestly absolutely incredible. This character, although initially cool, super cool when he walks down the corridor and everyone's saying hello to him, we see him become more awkward over time, and the voice needs to be able to reflect that. Occasionally, we use an existing celebrity as a starting point, not to do an impression, but just to go, that's sort of in the right ballpark. Let's build from there. And with this one, it was Owen Wilson. Wow, you know, so we started from way down here. And this felt kind of right, but uh, well, we needed him to sound like he could be in high school. So, you know, I took him a bit higher and uh, took away some of the wispiness as much. And then I thought, because I wanted him to get real awkward, I'd make him a bit more harsh nasal, you know, like this. And the change of the accent kind of really helped differentiate him. But the base point where we started with him was Owen Wilson, and then we built from there. Too late, little man. You got beat. This guy, you could probably tell there's a bit of Arnold Schwarzenegger in there. Oh, we're not talking, you know, fool. Big Arnold Schwarzenegger. Not that. Just, just a little hint. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the briefcase itself is talking! Please bring your apprentice with you, he amuses me. I haven't laughed like this since my last bailout. This is another one of my favorite voices, the head of Chanax Corp. And he's big and bold. He has to be. He's a CEO of this world in which Elmore exists. He's gotta be crazy. We honestly just wanted him to be as over the top as you would expect. Some of the inspiration from this was taken from the two Renoms in the IT crowd, but then Americanized and veered off enough to become his own character. But at the same time, the goth inside me is like, huh, whatever. But the football player inside of me is all like, broken hearted. Hi, I'm Kip Schlesinger, and this is Elmore News. This voice was super easy to find. We just wanted the typical breaking news type read and then dial it up to a thousand. But Kip probably provided me with some of the hardest lines I've ever had to say on the show. His name got more and more ridiculous every time it came back to him. Sometimes we had things like, Kip Schwalalalala Burger, which is actually, comparatively to some of the others, extremely easy to say. Fun fact for you, the human version of Kip that you've seen a couple of times on screen that's Richard Overall. That's our voice director. And another bit of inside information, which some of you might already know, Richard also does some voices in the show, and they are brilliant. Our philosophy at the Bobbitt Store is to focus on our vision of the ascent to perfection and break away from the past. Launching app, find my Bobbert. Bobbert located. My vision is for there to be a happy camp in every town, state, and country across the world. Now this episode was probably my favorite ever, as I used to love House of Cards, and getting to bring my very own Frank Underwood to the screen was a blast. His voice is just so full of menace, and that southern drawl, so much fun to do. Frank Underwood has such a distinct way of using his mouth, which made it so much easier to find the voice. And, of course, it's always fun to play a villain. Uh, Nicole, you have that report I asked for? Now, I know this one was a really small character, but I wanted to put it in here because I found the process of finding and arriving at the voice really interesting. I basically wanted to bring in that sound that primates make, the <laughs> sound into a human voice. So I started up at the <laughs> and kind of found that, you know, oh, Nicole, uh, uh, do you have the, uh, the, the reports I asked for? Basically, that's how we came up with that voice. He's beyond perfect. He's the unicorn of fools. Again, another villain, but this time just super, super slimy and nasty. Every journey is a circle turning in squares, but you can't square the circle inside of nothing, outside of everything. What I really enjoyed about this voice was just before doing this, I had actually been the voice of Hugo Boss for their whole aftershave campaign. The Power of the Scent by Boss, the new fragrance from then. So basically they said, take that essence that you just did in that whole advertising campaign, bring it to this. And look, Richard, again, Richard, there he is. I'll have you know that I'm the president of the Stellar Odyssey Fan Club. Elmore Chapter. 
Another fun voice and episode. Sometimes in cartoons, when it comes to the voice, you just need to drop back on some stereotypes and give people what they expect. Plus, look at this guy's nose. Are you telling me there's no way he wouldn't be super bunged up all the time with a nose that long and thin? Family, huh? I used to have one of those, too. You need to let go, son. A check for a billion dollars and all I have to do is write my name? You there! You're my butler now! Take this cash and throw it wherever I walk! Again, it's always fun to play a villain, and a villain Harold Wilson was, Richard's bully. It wasn't too hard to come up with this guy's voice. We just wanted him to sound as arrogant as possible. Chief, there's a black and white car driving out of control on West Elmore Boulevard! What do you seek? Please choose from the many wondrous items in my store. The awesome store guy, what can I say about him other than awesome? We wanted to find this perfect voice for this faceless, bodiless, entityless van of mysteries. I am so proud to have played this character, especially with what we know now with the whole origin of the relationship between Gumble and Darwin. What can I say? I was there right at the beginning. Now, if you'd like to hear the hot dog guy say a line that you've written, all you need to do is leave it in the comments underneath. If you've enjoyed the video, a like and a subscribe will be greatly appreciated. I also do loads of silly voices on my Twitch stream, which you can find in the description underneath this video. Thank you so much for watching, and until I see you next, good luck in the battles yet to come.